audience to replace the protagonist, not to tell us we are trapped. In which we prepare a play, we prepare a play, and then we invite the audience to replace the protagonist, not to tell us what to do, but to replace the protagonist and uh, invade that scene and use the same language that, uh, that, uh, 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 that we uh, are using here. Not we uh, use here the language of the theater, which is extremely rich, and then ask the audience to use only the voice, only the, the words. Let them come here and assume also this language, which is a language that becomes to every one of us, because all of us, we use the same language as the actors do on stage. And since we are children, we play theater until the adults tell us to take life seriously and not play anymore. And when they do that to us, which is a crime, a static crime, uh, we are deprived of this powerful language which is theater. This form of theater, we start calling that the forum theater. Why forum? Because in Latin America, people used to say, uh, let's, uh, used to say, uh, let's do a forum. Uh, we want forum after a play. Forum was the discussion after the play uh, was done. No? And then I said, here is not the forum after the play. It's the forum theater. It is during the play, uh, part of the play. Now, we are doing that, uh, the forum theater, among other forms of the theater of the press, is practiced in many, many countries, including the United States. There are many centers of theater of the press all over the world. And here in New York, you have one. In Omaha, Nebraska, you have one. In Los Angeles, you have one. In Seattle, you have another. In many places here, in many cities here of this country, in most of Africa, in almost all uh, of Europe, in Asia, uh, in Korea, uh, it is developing. This form of theater does not replace the other forms. When I write a play, I don't want anybody, like a play that I wrote about my exile, uh, I tell what happened to me in my exile. That's my witnessing my life. I don't want anybody to say, stop, I'm going to show you what you should have done when you were being in prison. I don't want that. I want to show what I, have, what I know. As a director, I use the plays of other people, and I have the right, and I go on doing that. I use the plays of other authors to show what, uh, what uh, uh, we want, uh, what I want to say. And then the form of theater does not replace any form of theater, but it is irreplaceable in itself. It's a specific form in which there is a dialogue, in which we try to rec uh, recapture this possibility that we have of uh, expressing ourselves totally, and not only through verbal language. So that's what we are trying to do here today. Uh, what I propose is that we do now. I'm going to uh, invite the actors to come here and do two scenes. Uh, uh, those two scenes, they are improvised. They are not plays that we have been a long time preparing. Uh, in reality, we had two days. We had four days of workshop, but the first two days are mostly games that we play and uh, things like that. You know? uh, uh, games and techniques of image that we use, you know? and then we had two days to prepare. So they are not, there is not a text, a written text. There is an improvisation that they are going to improvise here. So we have two plays, and then we have two plays. Each one lasts about five minutes, more or less. Is that right? Five minutes. They are very short. In those plays, there must be always one person, one protagonist, who is what we call uh, the the uh, the oppressed. Then you have to look at the plays. Uh, then we choose either one, or we can choose the two if you want. But you could choose either one. And then uh, we do again a second time the same play. But the second time, you have to say stop when you believe that what is uh, being done by the protagonist is not the right thing to do. And so you say stop, okay? And then instead of saying what you think, you come here on stage, simply that you replace the protagonist and you try your solution. But of course there will be other people that do, will not agree with you, will not agree with the protagonist, but will not agree with you either. And then the other person can come here also and try a second possibility, a third possibility, all possibilities that you want, okay? 
Is that okay? At the end, when we finish that, we don't have to stay long on each play. I think that we can have three uh, improvisation, three uh, interventions for each, uh, three or four maximum, uh, and then we sit again, and then we, you can ask questions. We can make a dialogue about what we have been doing. Is that okay, like that, dividing three parts? Okay, you are ready to do that. Yes. Yeah, you are eager to do that. Yes. Yeah. So usually, before we start doing uh, something like that, we do exercises with the audience also, because the audience usually comes and sit down. Uh, so we do something very simple, things that everyone can do. Uh, uh, they are going to do better because they have been training hard for two days. Uh, there are some. Uh, we are going to do only two exercises. One is a game uh, of children that all of you know, and the other one is a rhythmical game. You no, know? the one that that every one of you know and you are going to do very easily all over the world where I, I travel all of the time never I found one person that could not do it it's so easy that everyone does so please don't uh, make me say yes but in Harvard once there was <laughs> one person that could not do it so everyone has to do it okay all of you it's very very easy you don't have even to stand up it's like this with your right, you know that all of you, it's a child's game. With your right hand, make a circle in the air, but do a circle. Try to do a beautiful circle. You see, yeah, see? Harvard is well known for mathematics, you no, know, for uh, geometric, spatial geometry, you no. Know? So that's why you are doing so well. So it's very easy, you know, very easy. Circle, it's very easy. Now the second part is even easier. You stop the right hand. With the second part, it's very e much easier. You do this with your left hand. You make a cross in the air, make a cross. You see, so easy it is, you no. Know? Now the third part is the easiest part. You do both things at the same time. <laughs> Are you doing it? <laughs> Are you? Stand up, stand up and show, show, show. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> okay. Who else? Who else can do it? Now do something very curious with your right foot. This is very funny because your leg is going to do the opposite of what you ordered the leg to do. All of you, all those who can at least uh, uh, have space, make with your right leg, uh, right foot, make a circle with your right foot and keep doing a circle with your right foot. Now see what funny thing is going to happen. Go on with your right foot. Don't stop. Do it, do it. Now, without stopping the foot, make circles, beautiful circles with your foot. And now with your right hand, you keeping the foot always in a circle. With your right hand, you write your name in the air. <laughs> <laughs> what happens? <laughs> The foot goes and f follows also. No, the only day, the only, the only time that it happened, uh, it, uh, it worked very easily was in Denmark. A man uh, was very happy. He said, "I did it! I did it!" And I said, "What's your name?" He said, "Ole." <laughs> <laughs> so it's okay. Now, let's do a second one. Uh, uh, try to concentrate. I don't know if I should dare to ask that or not, but uh, I think we can do it. Uh, 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 stand up, stand up. Uh, look at someone, make a couple, uh, uh, two people, two people. Now, uh, do this, do this. Start saying, one, come, uh, come here first, uh, to show, just to show, come here. Uh, uh, say one, one, two, two, three, three, one. One, two, two, three, three, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. Now you make with your body any kind of movement and replace number one by some movement that you want to make. Anything. Give it a wow. Whatever you want. Do. No, but with a sound, with a mouse also. Oh, oh one? Like no, no, you don't say one. You say wah, 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 or whatever you want. Tarakit tun tun tun, whatever you want. Go, <laughs> go, go. Okay, that's number one. So instead of saying number one, you have to do yeah, okay? Okay, okay, okay. go, do again. Two. Two. Three. Three. Two. Two. Three. 
three. <laughs> go, go, three. <laughs> okay, now uh, uh, replace number two by something very different from yeah, something okay. very simple. Do, do. That's number two, okay? So make number one. Three. Three. Two. <laughs> Three. Three. Okay. Now you make something very different from that to make number three. Instead of number three, jump, whatever you want. Okay. Go. Show. Okay. I jump. Okay. That's number three, okay? okay. So number one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All of you, start to say one, two, three, one, two, three. Then I say stop, replace number one. Go, go, go. Thank you. Now replace number one. I the one of you replace number one. Go. Replace number two by something very different. Go, go. person replace number three and you don't speak anymore only the gesture go The first play, come. Uh, uh. Come. Come. Oh, you, you have to take. Uh, yeah, yeah, because it's heavy, okay? Okay? So, as I told you, it's improvisation. It's a very short play. Not play, it's a very short scene, improvised. And at the same time, look, even if you have the microphone over here, there are two microphones, you speak very loud because sometimes the sound goes there and does not come here. It speaks very loud all over, okay? Go strongly, strongly. Excuse me, excuse me, I need to speak with a reporter. I have a You are not coming in here unless I say so. I have a very sick baby. There are 15 other cases. I need to talk to somebody. We have to get this information out. Wait a minute, wait, let her in. There are rules at this corporation you must obey. Go. Come on. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Uh, Juanita. Juanita. Okay, Juanita, tell me what happened. You said your baby is sick? Yes, uh, she ate baby Gerber baby food. It was advertised, and she had a toxic reaction. I took her to the hospital. There are 15 other babies today. We Can't have see. to pull we'll give it three minutes. Okay. We have to pull it off the shelves. People have to know. About okay. This. What hospital did you take her to? Westminster. Okay. So 15 other babies came down with this. Yes. And baby gobble baby food. Yes. Okay. Stay here. I'll be right back. Susan. What do you have Mr. For Warner, I have a very important story. A baby, a woman is out there with a sick baby. Fifteen other babies have been diagnosed. It's who else, very toxic. Who else has the story? She came here. We've got the scoop on it, okay? So fifteen other babies have been diagnosed. Toxicity of baby gobble baby food. Wait, so we have to what? get this. 
Wait. What's up? Susan, are you out of your mind? Why? Baby gobble. That's my brother's company. Oh my god. Susan. Two minutes to air time. Oh my god. Oh, uh, well, 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 yeah, but babies are dying. We what have do to you get the think story. I am? We have to tell the public. Listen we have to, to me, what? listen. 